Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of the Red Wars. Now, this is, I do believe, in beta at the moment, and the download link will be in the description. So if you like what you see, then check it out for yourself and have a good old fun time. So, without further ado, let us start a new game, as we always do in these special features. This is just a preview of the mod, and, well, it's just to showcase various features that it may indeed have. Now, we do have a couple of issues here, but do bear in mind this is, as you see, beta, and we are obviously going to accept that this may still have bugs and hiccups, as they say here. We decided to give it to you anyway, so you wouldn't short out your computer by drooling over our screenshots. Now go have fun. Okay, so we'll choose a male here, and I think we're going to be a mafioso. Why would we not want to be a corrupt politician? Oh my goodness, mafioso, let's go for that. Now, as the son of a local gangster, you always had a large family. Sometimes you wondered how you were related to these people, but you ignored this, as they were always extremely nice to you. Your father kept you very secluded from his life. You had no idea what he did for a living until the government police took him away one day, and you were forced to learn to fend for yourself, doing what you could with what he left you. And you spent your early life as... Hmm... Well, let's see. Probably a shop assistant or something like that. Let's do that. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed to a wealthy merchant, picking up the trade over years of working shops and driving trucks. You soon became adept at the art of buying low, selling high, and leaving the customer thinking they'd got the better deal. Then as life changed, as a young adult, you became what? Political assistant, troubadour, university student, goods peddler. Goods peddler, let's go for that. Though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man, and the whole world seemed to change around you. Heeding the call of the open road, you travelled from village to village, buying and selling what you could. It was not a rich existence, but you became a master at haggling, even the most miserly elders, into giving you a good price. Soon you knew you would be well placed to start your own trading empire. And we're going to go for personal revenge, because who knows what happened to our father. So, let's head on. Allow me to quit without saving, thank you very much. And now, let's see here. Hmm. What are we going to go for? Well, what is our trade skill like? We have two in trade. I actually thought we would get a lot more than that, but what can you do? We do have three in inventory management, which I absolutely love. Three in riding skill is also amazing. We do want to go for some more pathfinding, though. So let's go for nine in that, and we'll go for three in pathfinding. And then we probably want to get a little bit more iron flesh. And let's get another point in agility I think I'd like that so we want to get more shields wait a minute we can actually oh there are guns in this yes there are guns in this so we're gonna get some mounted shooting perhaps hmm maybe not I'm not entirely sure whether I'm going to be using a mount at the moment but we do have two in riding skills so I would assume that we are so let's go for two in mounted shooting and what else do we want power draw does that actually improve our shooting skill I don't believe it does so it appears we'll just have to go for another point in Power Strike. And I think... Well, looting. Looting is going to be a good idea, isn't it? So let's go with that. And we're going to be... Hmm. Let's see. Shackles. Reformist. McGraw. There we are. The longest name in history. Wonderful. So we're going to go for that. I came up with that on the spot, just so you know. I did not do any research at all. So we're going to go for that. <laughs> oh my goodness. No idea. Okay. So let's go for rifles and two-handed guns and some one-handed proficiency as well. And we will now head onward. So let us randomize his appearance. Oh, that looks suave, does he not? Oh, look at that. He looks rather suave. Okay. He has to be a mafioso. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, so wait a minute. Let's make him a little bit older, just so that he seems like he knows the world. And we will continue onward. So, you hear about Carradia, a land torn between rival nations, battling each other for supremacy. And as you arrive, you are drawn by the stories about Carradia and its nations. So, where are we going to go? Well, hmm. Let's see here. We have... Praven in the Swazi Reich. We have the Ravadin town in the United Vigia Federation. We have Tolga in the People's Republic of the Kurjet. And we have Sargoth in the Nordic Union. 
Radokian Nationalist Workers Union, that is Jokala, and we have Shariz in the Saranid Islamic Confederation. Oh my goodness, I have no idea. Well, seeing as we came from sort of a working class family, we are going to be, well, we're a merchant. So I would assume that we probably want to go for something like the Rodox, perhaps. They are the Nationalist Workers Union, after all. That seems to be the way to go, so let's do that. Okay, thank you very much. Oh my goodness, the rasp of a pistol sliding from its holster. We have a two-handed gun. So, yes, this is going to be unfortunate if I die in this. I have a feeling that I'm probably... Oh no! Oh wait! Oh my goodness, I did not know that you didn't have to reload after each shot. Oh my! I think I might be liking this. Okay. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by his bed and points. You are unsure what to do, but you need to make sure that he's not being a creepy fellow. And then you decide to talk to him with a pot of tea next door. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, let's just not talk about that. Let's not talk about what happened previously to this particular conversation. Okay, so there we go. 100 dinars once again. Thank you very much for that. And whoa, look at that. The pot of tea, or should we say the cup of tea, is actually steaming. I like that. I like that effect. Okay, so, for the first time, let's take a look at the map. I do believe it's going to be relatively similar to vanilla, although, is it? Is it really? Because, as you can see, we have the Confederate States of Balion. Oh, my. Oh, whoa. Okay, they have a load of territory right there. Now, do we have any... Oh, we have someone else down here. Kingdom of Helvetica, by the looks of things. And who is this? This is the Kurgits, is it not? Yes, it is. Okay, anyone else? I do not believe we have anyone else, but goodness me, that has added so much already. And let's just make sure that we're seeing everything here. Yes, we are. Okay, so yeah, this is huge. This is a lot bigger. And they've actually added a new town. To Swadia, so yeah, there we go. Okay, so where have we spawned? We've spawned at a Jokala, have we not? So, yeah, Shackles does not have too much in the way of anything, basically. He does not have too much. He does have a horseman rifle, a rifle bullet, and a staff. Oh my, a staff is probably the worst thing they could give us. So, let's see, we have a saddle horse as well. So, what do we want to do first? Well, we probably want to head on to the nearby village of Bouvron. We're going to try and see how easy the early game is first. Usually I... What? Okay. I recruited 21 units. That's different. Yes. Usually in the first village, you get maybe max 5. But yes, we have 21. So we're going to attempt to find as many bandits as we can very, very quickly. <gasps> we have some looters already. Let's do it. I have to say, I'm actually enjoying this thoroughly already because I don't have to go to too many villages to recruit too many things, but... Oh yes, there we go. Okay, so let's do this. I am unsure whether the looters have guns. I'm unsure whether we do have guns. Oh, we do. We have some pistols. They are using some revolvers right now. We are on a horse, and we do have mounted shooting, so I'm hopeful that the mounted shooting that we have from the character creation is going to be enough. Maybe if you're still watching this video, it would be a good idea just to see whether you need mounted shooting as well. That might be a plan. So, let's get our units up to the top of this hill here. We want to get the height advantage, of course. And, what? Okay, that's a little bit of a bug. As soon as I aim with my rifle, it appears as though the horse is shooting. So, yeah, I might have a couple of difficulties with that. Now, we also have a slight issue with the fact that I cannot zoom in. So, as you can see, this is what you're going to be seeing, mostly, which is a little unfortunate. But, as they said, there are a lot of bugs. But, so far, so good. I'm liking this. Even though we cannot really aim too easily, it is working, which is exactly what you want to see from a mod. You don't want to see too many unbreakable mods and... Wait a minute. Let's go into first-person mode. Why didn't I just do that? Yeah, that would actually make a huge difference, wouldn't it? There's actually a little bit of recoil as well. Wow, I like that. That actually helps me because usually I aim a little bit too low. So, let's see. Can I actually hit the last one? Come on, take him out. Yes, there we go, we actually hit him. Very nice. And we made them a little bit weaker for our Rodox. 
to take them out. But there we go. Whoa. Okay, so yes, there may be an issue on the horse. Yeah, there is an issue on the horse, even when you're in first person. So as you can see, third person, same thing. And first person, same thing. So if you're going to be shooting on a horse, I would advise against it, unless you are okay with looking through the horse's head. So... Yeah, we are a mafioso, so horses' heads, we're quite familiar with that, but there we go. Now, we do have a couple of commander pistols right here, which actually look pretty cool, i got to say, but for now, we're just going to be taking as many of these things as we can. Now, I'd like to try and replace the current gear that we're using as soon as possible so that we look a little bit more, well, merchanty, if that is indeed a word, which it is not. So what about that? That might actually help a little bit. That does give us some leg armor as well, which I suppose is going to be useful. We have a lot of inventory management, so let's make good use of that by taking as many pieces of loot as we can. Look at that. We have so much space. There we are. Thank you very much. So that's 52 dinars, and now we have another batch of looters in our presence. But I am going to be leveling up a couple of our units here, as many as I can. So let's level up two of each, because I don't have too much money as a result. So now, what is the difference between two of these? Well, let's take a look. We have a couple of power strike there, we have pretty even proficiencies, and their HP is at 49. But what about the other fellows? 49 as well. Is that the same unit? Did I click on the same unit? I'm not entirely sure. One is with a hat and one is without a hat. No, they're exactly the same apart from their level. And they do have a couple of difference in their stats itself. But yeah, I'm actually looking forward to seeing them in combat. So there we have it. We have not leveled up yet, but we are... Well, we're not actually even very close. But hopefully in the next one we'll be able to take out a couple more looters. So yes, I am actually unsure whether we should even be using a horse, but I suppose if you're going to be using melee, then horses are definitely going to be helping you out quite considerably. And Oh yes, this is actually quite a major change. When your units level up, it appears as though they replace their pistols, their revolvers, with rifles. And as you can see, they actually look rather devastating, so I am hopeful that we will be able to take these looters out without them even getting close to us. Let's see if that actually makes a difference. Come on. Can I actually get a nice shot off? Maybe. Or maybe not. I do like the fact that you're able to reload the gun very, very quickly because I know in some other mods it does take a huge amount of time for the sake of accuracy, of course, but... Oh, there we go. Talk about accuracy. We were able to get a kill there. Very nice indeed. Usually I am known for not getting kills when it comes to guns. Oh, look at that. 32 damage. The only unfortunate thing about actually getting damage and not getting a kill from any of these guys is the fact that I don't get any experience, and the units that we have do tend to kill them immediately after us actually dealing damage to them, so I have a feeling that our fellows know what they're doing, and they are attempting to steal kills from us, because of course they do want to level up as well, and I... Well, I accept that. That's fine. Oh, we actually just acquired a very good helmet, as you can see. Let's use that much better in terms of armor, uh, that is for sure, and wow, there's actually some really cool armor here. I will not be taking much of it, unfortunately enough, but we are now going to be heading on to Veluca, as we do want to head to the marketplace. We are going to be attempting to sell a lot of our gear here. Now, do bear in mind that the only unfortunate thing I can see right now is the fact that the merchants do not have a lot of cash. But, yeah, it's understandable this time. Yes, it's understandable this time. But we are going to be, wow, gaining quite a lot right here. Hopefully enough that we'll be able to level up many more of our units in the meantime as well. But there it is. Also, we do want to get a couple more pieces of food. Because we are going to run out very, very soon, if not. So let's have that. Let's head into the tavern, just to make sure that we're not missing out on any companions. You never know. Oh, we do have a ransom broker here, so if I had any ransom broking skills, such as prisoner management, then we might be able to do that. But we have actually found some Albionic Moose Militia. Now, I don't want to offend anyone, but are they referring to Canadians? <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but they have a lot of moose up there. They do. They have a lot of moose, as far as I'm aware, at least. Yeah, my... Geography. I was about to say geology right there, but yes, my geography is not exactly great. But wow, we can actually purchase some land here as well. Do we want to do that? Hmm. 
Probably not, but we can borrow some money if we want to be mischievous. We could borrow some money if we want to do that, but we'd have to pay it back within two weeks, I do believe. So we need to be a little bit cautious about that, but whatever the case, let us... Wow, look at that. Yeah, let us head over here, gain another huge amount of units, and apparently we'll be leveling up some more as well. Okay, so everything's going quite nicely. I have to say, this probably has to be the most accelerated, probably apart from Blood and Steel, that I have ever seen in any mod. Maybe I'm forgetting one, but... Yeah, I've played quite a lot of them, so do bear that in mind, but... Yes, it appears as though they really want you to get into the action. They really want you to get fighting with very large groups of units rather fast. And I do know that in Native, they have a huge amount of bandits around this area here. So I'm hopeful that we'll be able to find some mountain bandits. Because at least they are not regular looters. And I do know that the mountain bandits do tend to have a larger force. So maybe that would be an idea if I'm able to find them. Oh, what is that? That's no, village farmers. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe we're not able to find any of them. That's really unfortunate. Hmm. Well, the only thing I can do otherwise is I suppose we can try to get some relation with some units. Hmm. Maybe not. I'm not entirely sure. Well, if we cannot find any others, you've already seen the basics of combat. And then the only other thing that we are missing right now is of course the late game. We're missing what the sieges are like, we're missing what the field battles are like with enemy vassals. So, without further ado, if I'm unable to find any more looter parties that are rather large, yes, it appears so, I will be cutting away and I will see you after we have advanced rather significantly. Okay, so upon returning from our slight progressional expedition. We are going to be taking on the People's Republic of the Kyrgyz. I know, I'm not entirely sure why I'm taking on the people that really want to be a republic, but yeah, it appears I will just be doing that for some reason. It's probably because they are close to the Rodox, and well, I could take on the Swadians. Maybe I should just take on the Swadians. Let's do that. Let's take on the Swadians. They seem to have become some sort of corrupt entity right now, so maybe it would be a good idea. So, yeah, let's just head on. Why not? We're sure to find one of their vassals lurking around here. And I would like to take one of these forts as well, if at all possible. Oh, hello! You're right here. Okay, so, take a look here. These are the units that we have right now. So, these guys right here, they are the main forces. And why is this guy unarmed? Why is this guy unarmed? Why does he not have any... Oh. He has a one-handed weapon, but I have no idea what that is. Does that mean he's going to fight with his fists? If that means he's going to fight with his fists, then I don't want him. Oh, my. Okay, so these guys actually do have weapons. And as you can see, this is why these guys are called Albionic Moose Militia. Because they actually have mounts that are moose. So, yes. That's pretty nice, i got to say. That's pretty nice. But everything else has a weapon, as far as I am aware. I hope. I hope. I have no idea. I'm hopeful that these guys will just pull something out of their hats. And we'll be able to see them in action. But right now, not entirely sure. So we're going to wait until a daytime. And I'm hopefully going to be able to find this guy again. Okay, so we're going to be taking this guy on, so I'm here to deliver you my demands. Yes, we are. So, it is none of your business. Prepare to fight. Okay, so we have 161. 75 of them potentially non-combatants, so we'll see. So, oh, they do actually have swords, so that's good to know. Do they? Wait, some of them have swords and some of them don't. Oh no, some of them have pistols. What? What is going on here? I have no idea. Okay, well, whatever the case, as you could probably see, I have a Tommy gun. I have a Tommy gun in my hands. So I'm very hopeful that I'll be able to... Oh my. What is going on here? Oh my goodness. Oh, we're being peppered. We're being peppered by a huge amount of their forces. Oh no. Okay. They have guns. We have guns. We're going to use them. We're going to use them to the best effect. We are shooting into the trees, however. So I'm going to hopefully try and move over a little bit. So I have a... Yeah. 
as you could probably see. Look at this. Yeah, I have a Tommy gun. And, yeah, it's a submachine gun from Wurchegg, apparently. It's called the Wurchegg 16 submachine gun. So, if we're able to... Wow. Okay, I'm just going to charge everyone in, because it appears as though we're losing way too many units right now. And I would like to be able to deal some damage. So, let's see. Can I deal some damage with this? Not really. <laughs> I need to be a little bit closer with it. Okay, maybe I should have gotten the Swedian sniper rifle. They did actually have a sniper rifle. Maybe that would have been a good idea. I just thought that the submachine gun would be vastly different from what we have currently come to know as being a gun in Mountain Blade. So that would be really nice, i got to say. Now, we've already lost a huge amount of our units, but I'm hopeful that we'll gain some reinforcements soon. Oh my goodness. I have no idea, but I'm hopeful that once I get really close... I'll be able to do so much damage. Don't shoot me, though. Don't shoot me. I'm not doing anything. I'm just chilling out right here. Just making sure that I get a little bit closer to you before I absolutely destroy your HP. Oh, no! Ah. Yeah. Okay. Perhaps field battles are a little bit too overpowered for us. <laughs> Why? Why are they so overpowered, though? Oh, my goodness, those guys. Those guys were insane. Okay, so yes, as you could probably see, our sergeants absolutely got destroyed right here. So yeah, I'm actually going to recruit a couple more, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so after a couple of minutes trying to get back our army strength, we have now attempted to siege the fort that the previous guy who defeated us owns. So, let's do it. Lead your soldiers in an assault. Now, we are actually against a huge amount of units. Now, I'm actually unsure how this is going to... how this is going to go. Now, unfortunately, there is no... Oh. Okay, so it has crashed. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be restarting, and I will try to get back in there. I'm not actually sure why it has crashed. It could be because there are so many units spawning in, but do bear in mind that the mod does not have diplomacy, so if you go down in a fight, then it will just kick you out. I do not press tab when it comes to that. So, yeah, I will see you in just a moment. Okay, so we've returned. Luckily enough, I had just saved before heading into the siege. So, let us lead our soldiers in an assault once again, and we will hope not to crash this time. As you can see, we have a lot of units. No, it appears as though the crash is not going to happen. That is good. That is very nice. Now, I would like to know how our units are supposed to get inside. I can assume that we have to use the gate. So, let's head on over here. Oh. Ah, it is a destructible target, so... Oh. Okay, there's my <laughs> submachine gun. Okay, I am doing damage to it, but it is taking a rather significant amount of time, so... Hmm. Okay, do bear in mind that your units are potentially not going to help you out too much with this. As you can see, we only have, well, one of them actually doing significant damage. And I am using my ammunition right now. I have no melee weapons, or do I? No, I don't believe I have a melee weapon, do I? No. Even with this. Okay. Well... I've got it in it down to half. I see. Okay, so this is the siege mechanic. I do believe. Oh no, don't get taken out now. Oh my goodness, this is the siege mechanic. So if you have a melee weapon, which I would assume you would at this point, I've just been rather stupid in the fact that I have not bought any grenades and I have also not gotten any melee weapons. So this is unfortunate, I have to say. Although our units are now starting to deal some damage to the gate. I'm actually going to wait until they do this. Okay, it's just about to get destroyed yeah there we go okay so the door flipped and oh okay yeah i do believe that the siege mechanics or at least the sieges are slightly unstable by the looks of things as you can probably tell by the black screen once again that is another crash so uh, yeah it is unfortunate. It is really unfortunate, because I would have loved to have continued there. I wanted to try out my submachine gun, but it appears as though I will have to end this special feature off here. So, 
Yeah, it looks as though it's a little unstable. It is beta, of course, but from what I can tell so far, it actually looks like a really fun experience. And if you want to give it a go yourself, maybe on your setup it will not crash, but on mine it did seem to have a couple of issues. So, by all means, check it out if you want to have some fun with some guns, with some submachine guns, with some pistols, with some revolvers, and... Yeah, have a good old fun time. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.